Welcome to Digging Relics with Western Virginia. And as you can see behind me, we're on a very old site. Um, this goes back to the 18th century. And there's some parts of this plantation, I say that loosely for Virginia, it's not like what you think in the Deep South, uh, that go back to the 17th century, 1690, 1695, in that time frame. Very beautiful Sunday, November 22nd. It's 60 degrees, hardly any wind. Uh, by myself, which is the norm lately, and I'm going to go out here and hopefully use the 5.2 version on my dais, the, the newer version I have. I have two daises, and uh, got a little bit bigger coil, newer programs. I'm going to go out here and see what we can uh, find for today. I have hunted this place many, 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 many years ago. Done very well. Early Virginia buttons. Uh, colonial, a lot of colonial artifacts, um, military buttons, War of 1812, Spanish reals, pistarines, stuff like that. So the stuff is here. Uh, I'm not expecting a banner day by any means, um, but I have farms for seven miles that way. And if I strike out here, I'll continue to go down the road and we'll find something, I'm sure. So anyway, beautiful day i'm looking forward to this just to clear my mind out uh, a lot of things going on at work and uh, the virus and just all kinds of stuff everybody's experiencing the same thing so no better way to get out and enjoy nature have fun finding history saving history that's a big thing with me uh, all this is saved nothing is ever sold so hopefully my kids will continue to carry this stuff on to their kids and their kids and um, you just can't find this stuff in stores, you know, so this is uh, our history. So hopefully that this will continue to go down the line. But let's get to it. Thank you for uh, joining me. Thank you for supporting me over the many, many years I've been doing this. 20 years, but been filming for like eight years. I'm very thankful for each and every one of you, your comments, your subscriptions. It's a small channel. It's real, nothing fake about it. It is just, we go out here, we have fun. I'm not gonna do all the editing, the fancy nature pictures with birds singing. You know, just that just takes time away from finding history, putting it in my hand, and putting it in front of that camera for you to see and enjoy. That's what it's about. So thank you again, I greatly appreciate it keep supporting the channel I got a Facebook page feel free to go over there post your finds whatever Middle Atlantic relic and coin hunters I got a dig in, in Virginia uh, with the Western Virginia page so go over there feel free I just uh, appreciate every one of you and I, I try to respond to every single comment no matter what it's about I just you know give you all the, the um, attention that you deserve back for taking your time so I reciprocate that thank you and enjoy Okay, so far a couple pieces of lead, a couple pieces of can slaw. I'm just off the house, maybe uh, 30 yards, and the first button of the day. It's a little cuff button. Very nice, very thick, nice cuff button, early cuff button. So, uh, you know, late 1700s, early 1800s. So, it was about. I don't know, six and a half inches maybe. Came up a 73. And uh, there we go. Thanks a lot. Okay, I mo literally moved about seven feet eight feet and listen to that just ringing solid 80 It's hitting awful hard. 
fairly shallow. Could be a coin or a can. Very echoey and very shallowish. Sounds really good. <laughs> Little. It's in the hand. What will it be? Uh, it's round. It's a uh, Indian head. Very nice. And 1894 in great shape. Of course, this soil is very sandy. So, there you go. That's why you always come back to your spots. You can't find it all, and especially if you change machines or different coils and stuff like that. You just never know. All right, thanks a lot. came up a 67 and <laughs> I'm not sure what this is but this may be super cool or nothing but look at the design and it's got a hole very intricate engraving on it and a hole it's super thin. All right, <clears throat> sitting here cleaning it with a brush. There's nothing on the back. So I'm going necklace, charm, something like that. Um, odd, not a, you don't see too many charms like this, necklace charms, but I think it's super old. I think it's uh, probably the colonial era, if not most certainly early 1800s. I love when you turn a clump over and you see that. Uh, it, it could be a wheat back or whatever, but um, it's just nice to see something flip over and you, you're like, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's an Indian head. Good, good. Second Indian head of the day. Like 1897. Cool. I love Indian heads. I really do. They're one of my favorite coins to find. Came up a 62. The other one came up like a 78. Um, and it was right about the same time frame 80, 97, 95, somewhere in there. But, uh, cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Alright, I'm heading back to my truck to get some lunch and uh, came across this signal here. This is a good sound. Oh, look right here. Pottery sitting right next to it. Oh, that's a good sign. All right, Let's see what we get.
Oh, this sounds great. Look at that. Look at that. It's silver. It's silver. It's silver. Oh, what do we have? Oh, it's a George Washington. I don't even think it's. I don't even think it's silver. Shoot. Man, I was hoping it was a barber or something. Well, hold on now. It is silver. 1945. I do believe that is silver. Yes. Yep, 1945. GW. Silver, silver. Nice. I'll take it. Cool. All right, thanks a lot. All right, uh, took a little lunch break. Went to a field across the way from the Colonial House, and uh, you can see I'm hunting a very predominant piece of high ground right here and I just got out of the truck dug right here and out flopped what may be my third Indian head of the day not sure let's take a peek and yes the third Indian of the day and this is a fat boy so this one is going to be 59 60 61 62 if I'm not mistaken 1859 so this is the first year but it's a fat boy awesome very cool all right so third one and got me a fatty so a little older than the other two it's a good sign 1859 and that was about, I don't know, seven inches. Uh, looks like some oyster shells came out too with it. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. This is why I love the dais. Um, it's so sensitive. Look how tiny this piece is. It is very decorative. It came up a silver number. Um, it may be silver, but it's just so decorative and just a unique little piece. Um, don't quite know what it goes to. Maybe it pinned into something. There's a hole here and a hole there, so maybe there's a little clasp or something. But uh, about four inches in the ground, and it just it just screams. And uh, it just came up um, nice and so it's so small. A lot of the machines have a hard time picking up these little pieces like this. So um, it's just a phenomenal machine. Thanks a lot. Kind of faint. Little poppy. Let's go in on it.
bit more choppy. And very tiny, tiny buckle. Look at that. And that was uh, about eight inches. Tiny buckle. Very cool. Okay, I went back through the dirt and indeed I did break it with my shovel. There's the other piece. So it is complete now, but I broke it. Uh, but you get the point. There it is. Cool. Alright, You gotta love Virginia dirt. Especially, you know, my side of Virginia, Eastern Virginia. It's just sand. You can just stick your pinpointer in, get your finger in there, and pull out stuff. Uh, this came up with 75. Uh, ooh, what do we got here? Interesting piece. Oh, it was a button. Like a Peter button with a big nipple on it. <laughs> I think that's what it is. It's a, there's the shank for sure. Maybe some stuff around it like stars. But this side, look how intricate the design pattern is on that. And that's pretty old, guys. Yeah, I haven't found one quite like that. Cool button. Very cool piece. All right. Thank you. All right, just dug this about eight inches in the ground. And it says ROA, but right here, 1938. It looks like a 38, 1938 or 1928. And it's got something right here. I don't know what that is, but definitely 1938. I don't know what it is. ROA. I have to look that up. But looks like it was screwed in for a decoration piece. It's an interesting piece. Um, can't say I've ever seen one. So uh, got a star. Hmm. All right. Thanks a lot. All right, made a day of it for sure. Four o'clock, get on out of here, sun setting, get on home, eat some dinner. But uh, anyway, not a bad day. Um, we'll start with the, I guess, good stuff. Two modern nickels. That little buckle we broke. Brass nail, brass nail, round ball been shot and squished uh, that cool button another little flat button the very first one we dug 
still don't know what that is. Silver quarter, 1945. 1859, 1894, 1897, that cool little pendant piece. Uh, this here is either gear or a spur piece, perhaps, not sure. Uh, furniture tack, and then this uh, ROA 1938 little piece here. Little clasp there, but uh, as you can see, I dug my fair share of junk. And, um, you know, the shotgun shells were heartbreakers. They came up really good. Uh, but we kind of dug just about everything. You know, so uh, here's my bucket for my fall, winter 2024. That's uh, the last hunt. There's some pottery in there. But uh, that's the last hunt we did. And, uh... We're going to throw all this stuff in there and come around March or April. You know, March, April, May, somewhere in that time frame, we'll recycle it. But I just wanted to show everybody that it's not always treasure. It's a lot of trash. More so than it is treasure. So don't be fooled by the other detectors channels out there that all they show you is the good never the bad and uh, not every day is a banner day there's another little furniture tack but uh keep on it fill your holes take your trash there you go, so, there you go. i appreciate it thanks a lot